In today's episode, we are highlighting hiring from some of our most downloaded episodes that we have done. And we're going to be talking about how to find and keep a player's baby. With that being said, let's start the show. Are you a sales producer that constantly struggles with hitting your PNC goals every month? Are you tired of every single conversation you have with a new client always coming back to price? And if you don't save them money, you don't close them. That's exactly why we created the zero to six figure insurance producer course to help you understand exactly how to have a conversation with a customer that guides them away from price, allowing you to actually help them out. We're going to teach you how to have that elevator pitch, how to get them interested in initially even having a conversation with you, how to build rapport and find commonalities, how to have a discovery conversation where you guide them away from price and actually figure out their problems, and then how to propose your presentation of always giving them more policies, more coverage, and educating them. And finally, how to confidently and professionally ask for the sell a minimum of three times in every single conversation, overcoming those most common objections that you're facing every single day. So if you're tired of struggling, if you want to be confident in what you do every single day, if you want to feel like you're actually making a difference and you're just not closing people because of price, this course is for you. Make sure you click the link below, check out the show notes. Other than that, let's get back to the show. How coachable are they? Because you're telling them, you're coaching them. Two, Call reluctance. Uh huh. And even if you're in an office that doesn't make cold calls, you still have to be willing to pick up the phone and talk to people. Like call reluctance, you need to know from the very beginning. You're looking for rock stars. You're looking for individuals that can come in and make an immediate impact. Somebody that's scared to get on the phone is not going to be a good sales producer. All right. Unless you want somebody that. You're like, you can see good characteristics and traits and you're like, okay, I think we can maybe you to even talk about mindset in this, but you're setting up this hurdle from the very beginning because kind of what you said, and I don't remember who says this, but I need to work with you before. Seth Godin, I have to work with you before I work with you. Ah, So yeah, there's yeah, yeah. always a project. We do this in every capacity of our business. So if I'm hiring a graphic designer, if I'm hiring a marketing team, if I'm hiring a sales producer, anything, customer service, I always have a project that they have to do before they're actually hired. Number one, I want to see how they take direction. Mm -hmm. I want to see how coachable they are. I want to see if they implement. And then I want to see how they fulfilled their project. You know, if there's any questions, how do they ask for feedback? What does done look like for them? These are all little things and you pay them for this. hundred percent. Pay them for this project because I'm not trying to get anything free out of this. This is me really making sure that our working relationship that not only I can work with them, but they can work with me Mm -hmm. because I'm going to give feedback a certain way. I'm going to coach a certain way. I'm going to have a certain level of expectation. So I need to know before we're actually working together that we can work together. Mm. And you're compensating them for their time. Yeah. So highly recommend you putting some type of hurdle, no matter what it is, whether it's cold calling, whether it's coming in and answering the phones Mm -hmm. just to take messages or transferring to the team, like some type of hurdle to where you actually see them working in real life in your culture. How are they getting along with the team? How, how coachable are they? Great. So once you have this hurdle, we're still not done yet. We're still not done. All right. At least for a producer, what I'm going to recommend. Okay, for for a producer, great. Now we're going to offer a job. But when you show up on day one, you have to have 50 names and numbers of individuals that have said they would be willing to get a quote. They'd be willing to let you quote their business. And guess what? If they show up on day one without that list, see ya. So we used to do this in agency. And it, you had to have 50 hot leads that you would walk in. And we weren't very firm about staying to this. Nope. Nope. We'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah. I can tell you there were mm, one, maybe two that I can think of out of all the producers that we had that showed up with hot leads. And those two easily were Century Club producers. They, they were, were the best producers. They were writing a yeah. hundred policies a month because they were self-starters. They were willing to hunt for their own food. Yep. 
They knew they had personal ownership. Yep. They just had grit. And grit is something that you cannot teach. Like you have to see, do you have it or do you not have it? Yeah. So as much as you're going to want to pull back, cautionary tale here, don't. If they don't show up with the 50, if they can't do that, I mean, you're going to want to give them some slack. Please don't because it's just going to cause you, it Please causes us so much headache. Learn from our mistakes. Yeah. Like learn from our mistakes because I know it's easy. You went through all these steps. You've, you've collected the resume. They've done the 60 second video. They blew everyone away in the group interview. They answered all the great questions in the interview. They came in, they showed you what they, they could do. I know it's easy to be like, oh, okay, I understand. No, don't do that. Like this is a hurdle. This is an expectation yeah. because if they're willing to not hit this expectation, they're willing to not hit other expectations. Are you an insurance agent struggling to meet your sales goals? Do you feel overwhelmed and disorganized, making it hard to keep track of your leads and close deals? If so, our sales training program is the solution you've been looking for. Our program is designed specifically for insurance agents who need help improving their sales skills and increasing their productivity. We understand that the insurance industry, it can be highly competitive, fast paced, which is why we've created a program that will help you stay ahead of the curve and close more deals. We understand that your time is valuable, which is why we've created a program that is flexible and convenient. You can access the sales training lessons and coaching sessions from anywhere at any time so you can fit your training around your busy schedule. Don't let the lack of sales training hold you back from achieving your full potential as an insurance agent. Sign up for our sales training program today and start closing more deals, generating more revenue, and achieving your sales goals with more confidence. There's so much more to the program. So if you're interested in joining the program that's helped over 10,000 insurance agents nationwide, visit our website, www.weaversa.com or send me a text directly at 816-727-7610 with any questions to find out more. You take a week and you start writing down everything you're doing. And you're also writing down, like, how is it making you feel? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Is it something only you could do? If you outsourced it, how much would you outsource for it? And like, get really clear on what you're doing and then break it down into buckets. Like, is this an operational thing? Is this a team thing? Is this a leadership thing? Marketing, you get the idea. That way you can start to see patterns of things that are making you feel stuck or keeping you stuck, et cetera. And then step two is really getting clear. I know I keep like clarity is one of my, is the first of my, there's seven total, seven C's of a high performing team, but clarity is something that I will keep coming back to and back to, because if you're not clear about what you want from the business and where you want the business to go, then you're going to potentially discover that your ladder is leaning up against the wrong wall. So with our scorecard, for example, it's designed so that it thinks about a 360 view of the role. So you've got the mission. How does it fit in? What's the one thing? What problem is it solving? What traits does somebody need to have to be successful in this role? What are the accountabilities? What are the threats and interdependencies? And I know it sounds like a lot of stuff, but it's it's actually very simple once you start to think about, because there's three types of business owners. There's an owner, there's an owner operator, and then there's an owner leader. And so deciding what one you want to be is going to help you down the road and make sure that if you don't want to be that owner leader that you do hire the right CEO. If you, you know, don't want to have any sort of operational stuff after a certain point that you hire the right operational team and the right CEO. And so that's step two is like really getting clarity on what you want. And then the third one is a little bit related to both of them of getting clarity on like what your specific talent is. We use an assessment called the wealth dynamics which is a bit of a misnomer because uh, it makes it seem like it's for financial advisors. It's not. It's just essentially merging East and West and saying, what's your path to being able to flow through your business and life in the best way to create wealth? 
And so when you get really specific about what your skill set is and what it's not, then you can start building the right team around you and focus in and be, be that laser instead of a flashlight. <laughs> 